Awkward third wheel teacher time. You guys aren't up to anything uh, inappropriate over here, are ya? She looks, look at that face. She looks so guilty. Yeah, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Pilot, dude, it's been like four days and you just discovered that this is your room. Hello everyone, welcome to the third episode of our Fire Emblem Three Houses Let's Play. In this episode, I'm hoping to explore the monastery even further, and also do some quests that will be available to us. There's a couple just basic starting ones, and we also have some students to talk to around the monastery, of which we can build some bonds and start raising our potential support levels with. So let's get into it. All right. So I have seen actually that this is where we can equip outfits here at our desk. I haven't uh, actually bought the Nintendo online subscription at this point uh, for this year. At, at some point I will, and once they add the expansion pass, I'm definitely going to end up purchasing that, and uh, we could put on our outfit here. But if you've already purchased the game with the DLC expansion pass, you can get your free outfit for Byleth by just clicking on this desk here once you've, uh, you know, set everything up. Does this show us all of the quests around? Interesting. Ladies preferred. Oh, Sylvain. <laughs> the food in the dining hall is pretty appetizing. Is anyone interested in sharing a meal? Ladies preferred. Oh my god. Dadu wants to farm or garden, I guess. Flane. Please assist me by catching a delectable fish from the Saint Set Sethlian. Sethlian? Celebration. Cool. And no weekly announcements. Let's um let's try to do all those things actually. I don't think there's anything else here to do. Hey, there's Sedith. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, Ooh. while the second is primarily for students of noble. I guess that makes sense. It's kind of mean, though. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Makes sense. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. <laughs> I expect you to set a good example for the students. I will set a great example by marrying your younger sister, Flame. Just kidding. Okay. He would be thrilled at that, though, I'm sure. Um, is there anything? Oh, look at that. We got a conversation between Hubert and Edelgard here. Let's, uh, let's see what these two have to say. If you continue to insist on distracting me, I will have no choice oh boy. to get rid of you. Okay, Hubert. Joking, of course. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure you're joking, man. Haha. <laughs> I trust you're eager to face the Black Eagles in battle. Enjoy the thrill of anticipation while it lasts. Soon you'll wish you had chosen to lead our house instead. Very nice. Listen to this. Casper. Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you Yuritsa were seems kind of weird, instead. to be honest. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. Well, I could probably take you, though. All right, we'll see, buddy. We will see. Um, I guess it doesn't matter what our bond is with Casper, but... You really think so? Oh, you like that. With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. He just instantly backed down. He's like, all right, you're better than me. <laughs> I'll beat you someday. I care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. Jeez, who killed your parents? All right, so this is where we were before. This leads to the other courtyard around the side here. I see Dorothea. I don't know why. I keep ending up ignoring my own students. It's true that I'm the only commoner in the Black Eagle house. I knew that before the first day of class. Those people are simply exhausting. Hmm. Are there actually students in the classrooms? The cool thing is going to be to like run around and explore and see, um, does this just do that every day? This is the Golden Deer house. You're in charge of a different class, right? <laughs> Too bad we won't see more of each other. I'm happy to learn from you if the opportunity comes up. A lot more people like Ignaz than I kind of figured. To be completely honest with you, he is my least favorite character out of any of the characters we've been shown. I don't hate him or anything, he's just not my cup of tea. A little too nerdy looking for me. But uh, I'm glad a lot of other people seem to like him. Amiibo Gazebo, should we do this? Can we do this yet? 
Awesome. Let's uh, let's do this. Let me go grab an amiibo really quick. Starting things off with the OG. I'm gonna scan the Martha amiibo. Very cool. Okay, so it said premium items can now appear near the gazebo. This is one of them, I guess. Ooh, an elixir. Wow. Almost seems unfair. Fermented dried seeds blended with tea leaves and has a soft and subtle flavor akin to the gentle light of the moon. So some nice tea leaves there. I don't know. I almost feel like I shouldn't be doing this. I guess I'll just do it this once for now. Um, you guys could probably do it all the time. But if you're getting like elixirs and stuff from scanning Fire Emblem Amiibo, that seems uh, quite powerful. Quite good. I don't want to, like, dilute the difficulty or anything by doing that too often. Oh, there's something else, too. Ginger tea. Is there something over here? Look at these two out on a little date over here. I'm just gonna, just gonna, you know. What's up? Awkward third wheel teacher time. You guys aren't up to anything, uh, inappropriate over here, are ya? She looks, look at that face. She looks so guilty. Yeah, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Stay in school, kids. What's this over here? This area, I actually... I don't think I've ever seen this area in any shots or promotional material. Ah, Felix. Here's the dining hall. Um, actually, we should probably... I'll chat with Felix. Though. I'm busy. Do you want something? Yeah, I want to punch you in the face. <laughs> oh, actually, here we go. I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating I actually like Felix, but I don't want to mess with him because it's funny. All right, um, Petra. I'm going to, you know, if we can raise bonds with the other students and other houses, I'm not sure if that actually ends up affecting anything later for actually recruiting them. But if I can speak to Petra, I'll probably speak to Petra most of the time. Here at the monastery, I have had many great learnings from many great people. <laughs> many great learnings. I am hopeful to have learnings from you, too. As, As forever. forever. I will do my best try. <laughs> okay. Maybe you can't, I'm not sure. Hello there, Professor. Well, I call you that. But I am afraid I am not a student here myself. Oh boy, Byleth. Uh, I'm trying to think of which one of these might give her the bond increase. Let's actually let's do that one. She seems like maybe she'll be sympathetic to that. Should the yeah. opportunity arise? I would love to become a student and begin my studies in earnest. The monastery is kind enough to provide The second answer was kind of creepy anyway. <laughs> that ain't going to be the kind of violet I am. Catch a fish for the ceremony. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to go on a fish catching quest here. I also think there was another quest for um, dining, but I don't know if I accepted it at this point in time, so we'll try to find that one later. For now, though, let's find that fishing hole. I think it's actually near the uh, dormitories. Ooh, what's that? Smithing stone. It leaves. Okay, I'm wondering if the green items are the higher quality stuff and the blue is the lower quality stuff then? Time to uh, zip through here. Listen. Um, okay. What are you telling me to listen for? Gonna go. Oh, gatekeeper. All right. Greetings, professor. Nothing to report. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it? Absolutely. It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. Very, uh, interesting NPC with some personality. You look like you're up to no good, dude. What, uh, what happened here? Ah, you're restricting me yet again. I feel trapped like a rat. They won't let me leave the monastery. It's all a trick. That's gotta be blocked off too, huh? I think I wait a minute. Aha. Herring baits. Oh, that was really good. 
Ooh, those were really good. I feel like I already beat the game. Um, anything going on here? Ah, you guys are just gossiping and quiet. Hey, there's a net. Hello, Professor. Uh, I have a teeny tiny question for you, if that's all right. You haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, a scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? I think she's talking about Gilbert, who's probably her father. I have not met him yet, but, um... Let's... I'll try the top one. Well, yes. It's a bit difficult to explain. Please just let me know if you do see him, okay? Yes, I certainly will. Indeed. Sorry to hear that he's your father. It is said that the Adrestian Empire's very founding was aided by none other than Saint Seros. Yes, it was. And if I'm not mistaken, the original uh, country was the Adrestian Empire. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus broke off from that. And then, of course, the Leicester Alliance is probably just folks that broke off from both of those places. That is why the crest of Seros is on the Imperial flag. In recent years, a rift has developed between the Empire and the Church. Really? Let us hope this will be a good opportunity for both parties to reforge their close relationship of years past. It's that opera company. It's corrupting everybody, making them go far away from the church. Lysithia. Hi, Professor. Have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? Maybe I should. It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep, so I could spend all my hours there. Huh. So, I, I mean, I would like to tease her probably, but I'll just do what you like reading her. In a manner, yes. But it's more that I want to learn as much as I possibly can. Just figure that she wouldn't react that well to the other option. Should we explore the library? Let's take a quick look. I don't want to spend too much time in there right now, but... This? Oh, okay, so here's Rhea's office then. Who are you? You expect greatness from me, huh? How's this for great? It's my first day and I'm freaking out, lady. What? You'll never see this coming. Woo! I think Captain Gerald has hardly changed since 20 years ago. I've aged at least three times as much as he has. Ooh, I wonder if that means something. Why am I talking about this? Oh, right. It was because I just overheard Tomas remarking on the subject. The leader of a legendary group of knights returned. People are bound to be talking about the old captain. Hmm. You know what's funny is I almost feel like this is kind of like a Tales game in the sense that I almost want to talk to each character every time I can to see the little bits of different dialogue. I kind of don't want to miss out on anything, even though, you know, it's just like flavor text for the most part. And I don't want to bore you guys too much, but it's a temptation for sure. Apparently, there is to be a mock battle between... My research is proceeding slow. I was wondering if I might get a sample of your <laughs> Oh my flesh. God. A couple of square <laughs> inches would do. No, perhaps some blood. A couple of drops on the device. Maybe on the battlefield, Hanneman. If you can get it. Let's visit our favorite lady here. A mock battle? This early? Wow, Professor. They're not giving you any time to settle in, are they? Don't worry, though. Should you get injured, I will care for you all through your recuperation. <laughs> I will see to you oh so very very personal oh my god you know oh i'm glad i talked to her then jeez i didn't know you could get bond stuff without um making choices very cool that um it makes me want to uh the church has visit everyone even more since my time Sedith, hanneman manuela Yuritsa, and many of the knights none of them were around 20 years ago oh boy was there some kind of like a coup or something or maybe it's just that they're all young. Well, see, he knew who Rhea was, but now he's saying that she wasn't around. Hmm. All right, library time. Forget which hallway it was down. I guess it's this one. Uh, library time. Okay. Ooh, hello. This is quite nice. Bridget. Bridget, an archipelago nested between Fodlan and Dagda. It is a land of plenty that is often heralded as the perfect union of the gentle sea and nature's bounty. Both Fodlan and Dagda have long vied to claim this territory as their own. 
Bridge, it seems like my kind of a place. I like islands. Almira, a great kingdom to the east of Fodlan. Its territory borders that of the Leicester Alliance, with the precipitous mountain range known as Fodlan's Throat acting as the dividing line. Its people maintain a strong legacy of horsemanship and relish the thrill of battle. It's, you know what that sounds like, actually? The Dothraki. Sounds like we're in Game of Thrones right now. That's across the sea, in Essos. This vast kingdom is rich and fertile in prairies, deserts, and mountain ranges. I kind of hope that we can end up going to some of these places. I don't actually know, but we'll see. This is super interesting. So, the descendants of the heroes sought their ancestors' power, and thus lead their blood. In time, they amassed crests, relics, land, and wealth, using all to set the land aflame with war. The goddess's power, intended to stem the flow of evil, became a tool of destruction, all because of the greed of humanity. The goddess grieved, and heartbroken, hid herself in the heavens from whence she came. Very interesting. Hey there. The Five Eternal Commandments. Dare not doubt or deny the power or existence of the goddess. <laughs> Yo, the goddess ain't real, bro. Dare not speak the goddess's name in vain. Dare not disrespect your father. Yeah, okay. Unless... Hold on, hold on a second here. Dare not kill, harm, lie, or steal unless such acts are committed by the will of the goddess. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We could have some uh, poor interpretations of that. Wait a minute here. The current Duke Regan's heir, Godfrey, died in an accident while on duty. While he did leave behind a surviving daughter, she is presently unaccounted for. We got some nonsense going on over here in the Leicester Alliance. Whoa. House Edmund, its beneficial trade policies, emphasizing fair use of its personal harbors, have awarded the house a great deal of clout. House Edmund, Marianne, Clout Gang, 2019. All right, I think we've done enough learning for one day. At long last, it is time to fish, I think. Or not, I guess we're going to the greenhouse first. What's up, Faye? Pray to thee. Please protect us. <sighs> Alright, girl. Okay, let's uh see about fishing, shall we? Yes, we're gonna fish. Let's use Flane's bait. Flane this bait. Ah. Oh. Okay. Very cool. Nice distracted. Carassius. And that gave us Professor EXP. Can we, like, do that? Okay. Fishing has not been unlocked yet. Okay. Well, I guess we just got a first time on the house or something. The great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> see what we got here. Got Ash, let's talk to Ash. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. Okay, buddy. Let's uh, let's chill on that. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. My adoptive father. Want to raise that bond? Expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Anybody else in here? Uh, ooh, hello. Eastern Fodlin Seeds. Ah, so I gotta talk to, I think it's Dudu. Let's figure out where Dudu is. I really can't right now. I got a lot of things to do. I like that. Sylvain. Hey, Professor. If you got spare time, wanna join me for a trip into town? We could try to pick up beautiful girls. Or not. I'm kidding. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Professor, I've got a small favor this? to ask. Oh, yeah, we're absolutely doing that. Okay. Hey, Teach. I hear there's gonna be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? Sorry, no can do, buddy. Oh my god, that woman just killed herself. Okay, no, she didn't. She's still alive. There's my boy. 
Professor. His Highness has said that he trusts you, and I have no cause for doubt. But if you mistreat him in any way, I will take action. All right, buddy, chill. I have a request. All right, let's go do this, and then we'll talk to uh, Dimitri after that. I know I can use the minimap a little bit more. I'm just still kind of trying to explore a little bit and talk to as many people as possible. So by gardening, you can harvest all kinds of crops. Flowers, for instance, make great gifts. Some people might even decorate their rooms with the flowers that you give them. Cool. More seeds means a bigger harvest, while more compatible seeds will lead to higher quality. We're going to plant deduce seeds. Uh, I guess. My thing. Anyway. Okay, cool. So we got some more seeds from him. Very nice. And some renown. I don't know why he was uh, too lazy to just walk down here and do it himself, but that's all right. Professor. I guess I'll talk to Bernie over here. Bernie gang. <laughs> okay. Today's special. Actually, that seems like a... Well, okay. Seems like a pretty decent choice to have at least. We'll do these two. Why not? They're friends anyway. Close friends. Today's dish was so good. Oh, but not as good as your homemade sweets, Mercy. <laughs> You're too kind. Maybe I'll bake some for you next time, Professor. Very nice. Professor level up. The first of many, hopefully. Nice. I knew I could count on you. All right, now we're going to talk to Flane here. The challenging thing is that we're not going to be able to do everything in the future. We're going to have to have the limited time and resources, so it's going to be tough picking what we want to do or not. All right, we got that too. That's all set. I kind of feel like we've found and spoken to pretty much everybody, if I'm not mistaken. Let me, um... Does this show... Oh, yeah, this shows my students now. Oh, that's cute. I like that. The Blue Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first king of Fargus. Right, okay. Right. Oh, it's Mercy. Before I came to the Officer's Academy... I attended a school of magic in the kingdom capital. That's where I met Annie. That's what I call Annette. Oh, I guess Lawrence was at the school of magic too. But Annie was always just so nice to me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. Lawrence went to the same magic? Lawrence went to a magic academy? That's weird. All right, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't miss out on any potential bonding with anyone. I guess it's time to go and uh, continue things. I hear there will be a mock battle soon. We must not neglect our training. I trust that you will carefully study the strengths and weaknesses of each of your students, that you may provide effective guidance. Regardless of the results, this battle will be a great learning experience. Even so, what is the point of competition if the aim isn't to win? As this is your first time at the monastery, please allow me to show you the ropes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've done enough for today in this episode. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you got through this whole thing here with me. In the next episode, hopefully we'll be doing that mock battle with everyone. I can't wait to try that out and play with our students for the first time. But once again, thank you so much for watching. Let me know how your experiences are going in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear about it. How far are you? Which house did you pick? And are you enjoying it so far? What's your favorite aspect of the game? And I will catch you guys in the next episode very, very soon. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.